GameRanks is happy to bring you the top 10 iOS and Android games of August 2015. Now this is both free and paid. Number 10, Skeet Safari is a fast paced stunt game with beautiful graphics that just doesn't relent. But it's not like it pounds you over the head with anything. It's very well controlled, it's very tight. If you've ever played the Adventure Time version of this game, you know that this developer is experienced in this genre and has refined its look at it over time. It's got gorgeous Donkey Kong tropical freeze looking graphics and isn't just a casual game this can keep you playing for hours on end it is so fun number nine spider right of the shrouded moon okay so if you need a ridiculous platformer this is what you need to play spider is a game that takes platforming to a new level because you stick to everything you can make webs you can climb there's so many mechanics at play that are not in the normal platformer the level design is so creative and takes advantage of all the gameplay capabilities that they've created for this thing and it's a pretty game as well it's so worth your time Number eight, Loot and Legends is kind of a card hunter style adaption for iOS. It kind of has that might and magic feel to it a little bit. If you understand card based battle games, you'll probably understand this one. It's what I would call probably one of the most cohesive and enjoyable versions of this on a mobile platform yet. People are really enjoying it as well. I've actually seen a ton of praise of this around the internet and I personally enjoyed it as well. It has a little bit of a learning curve, but it's definitely worth playing. Number seven, Galactic Keep. Galactic Keep is kind of a hybrid board game and turn-based open world RPG. And that sounds bizarre. I mean, really bizarre. And it is, but this thing pulls it off. Now it's been in development for six years and it has a learning curve, which is not normal for a mobile game. Galactic Keep is the kind of game that doesn't come along that often. This is basically in a class all of its own and deserves your attention. Just give it a try. Number six, Gathering Sky is a game about a flock of birds. It's relaxing, as in it's not high octane, but it is a very interesting title because it is gorgeous. And it also answers the question, do games always need to be action packed in order to be good? And the answer is no, no they don't. Sometimes they can simply be art. And when I say art, I don't mean like all creativity is art, I mean like high art. This game is high art, kind of like Monument Valley is high art. These are beautiful games that are just really enjoyable and interesting and different. Number five, Pac-Man 256. Okay, get ready for the craziest version of this game you've ever played. Pac-Man 256 is Pac-Man on steroids. The power-ups have gotten completely insane, and the idea is to get combos, specifically a 256 chain combo. This is a game that's been around forever and hasn't seen too many changes to its formula until now. Obviously, the gameplay is still based on the same premise. However, it's become so much more frenetic and fast and interesting. I definitely recommend Pac-Man 256. Go ahead and play it. Number four, Horizon Chase. Now, I will date myself when I say this, but OutRun was one of my favorite games. That game was so fun. And if you fondly remember that, or you're a fan of retro and or arcade racing games, Horizon Chase is a must have on your phone or tablet. And it plays like old school arcade racing, except it looks much better. Like people my age dreamed of games looking like this. These smooth 3D playing games that maintained the style, or at least went for a style rather than tried to go for realism. Horizon Chase just nails it. Play this game, period. Number three, from the developer of Hitman Go, it's Lara Croft Go. And if you ask me, this is a much better suited franchise for the Go games. Not that Hitman Go isn't fantastic, it's a wonderful puzzle game that feels very satisfying to complete levels in, but Tomb Raider gives you so many more possibilities for puzzles. The style of gameplay established in the Hitman version of this just absolutely goes wild in this game. It is so much improvement and evolution over a game that's not even that old yet. I really hope they keep making these games and keep evolving this style of play. It's really fun. You need to play it. Number two, Final Fantasy VII is finally available for iOS. Now, if you don't know what this game is, I don't think you've probably played very many games. And that doesn't mean you like it or you've played it before, but you know what this is. It's considered by many people to be the absolute epitome of the JRPG. Not that it doesn't have its flaws, but it is a fantastic game. And if you haven't played it, or if you're just looking for a good reason to, you have it now. 
And you know what option this version has that you didn't grow up playing with? You can turn off random encounters, and that's great. And number one, The Walking Dead Road to Survival. Now this is not the same thing as The Walking Dead games you're used to. It's not about story and choice and chapters and all that. This game is a battler. More specifically, it's kind of like old school RPG battlers, which is very weird for a zombie game, but it's cool, it's enjoyable. It's definitely not what you're expecting when somebody says Walking Dead game because it creates very specific associations because those games are so successful. This is a very different, action-oriented game that can be picked up and played immediately. It's a lot of fun, try it out. We've got some really good bonus games for you to check out on Android that have been around on iOS for a long time, like Framed, which was actually Hideo Kojima's game of the year when it came out for iOS. Also Fallout Shelter, which is the absolute smash hit. Everybody's super stoked about that game, and it's finally out for Android. Both absolutely worth your time, play them. Anyway, if you played any of these games from the last month, we'd really appreciate it if you left us a comment and told us what you thought about them, and maybe recommend something for mobile players who are also watching this video. We'd also like to ask you to click the like button because it really, really helps us out, and subscribe if you haven't already because it's the best way to see our daily videos first. As always, we really want to thank you for watching this video and all our videos. We will see you next time here on Game Ranks.